Hello there, Slopers. Tim Knight here. And I usually do this kind of thing on the weekend, but I, for various and sundry reasons, I'm going to do it now instead. I'm going to make two videos now to um, kind of let you know the lay of the land here. I have 57 positions right now. They're all short, of course. Um, and presently, I don't have my spreadsheet in front of me, but something like 48 of them are profitable. And uh, the rest have a tiny little loss right now. So almost all profitable. And that's pretty cool since the highest level of the entire year was only yesterday. So um, uh, Monday was a good day, Tuesday a good day. Uh, almost all the shorts are profitable. And I wanted to thumb through them with you, as is my habit. I'm going to split this into a uh, everyone video and a premium only video. Um, I will go ahead and instead of just gold and diamond, I'm going to let bronze, silver, gold and diamond all have access to the second video. And I know that these have been dark times for the bears, but um, I would uh, certainly encourage you to consider being a premium subscriber, even at the bronze level, because you get some goodies. And as I continue to add things to slope, Premium members will be the only one to get those. Uh, so let's get going with the first chunk. Uh, this is the this is the continuous contract of the ES, and this is the entire uptrend since the financial crisis bottom. And as we know, the uh, trend line was broken last quarter, and we have pushed our way not only all the way back up to it, but even a little bit above it, like so. And importantly, as we all know, because it's been beaten to death, uh, this level that we had seen three times last quarter has been reached a fourth time, and we have not surpassed it. So in a perfect world, uh, we would start falling and falling pretty dramatically. Now, I'm not that unconfident uh, that we can fall. Here's the much bigger question, way bigger. This line right here. You may remember I was all hung up on 2626. We certainly could fall, you know, um, almost 200 points, 200 S&P points for whatever reason. The real test, the one that really matters is this line right here. Because believe me, as maniacally defensive as the government is about stocks, which, you know, isn't their business, but they've made it their business. Uh, if we should fall, that much, they will pull out all the guns to reverse things. So it is entirely possible we could fall that far and just bounce from there. But we'll cross that bridge if we can get to it. I'll, I'll happily take 200 points on the downside. Um, but we're not there now. We're basically at uh, near lifetime highs, and we're uh, right near the highs of the year. So let's go through the shorts that I do have. Uh, AWW. And this is the one the, the plane crash happened uh, over the course of the, the weekend. 58.03 is where that price gap is located. Uh, ACN, Accenture, we're beneath this long-term trend line. And the price gap here is at 164.09. And as, as you gold and diamond members know, you can see my charts directly. At any time, you can see all the stuff. You can see my trend lines, the price levels, and so on. It's, it's, it, I'm an open book. Any premium member, Golden Diamond, can see that. American Financial Group, AFG. Again, a broken long-term trend line and a reversal pattern here. This level is at 100.39. Allstate, ALL, also below a broken trend line. And zooming in, we are turning away from this trend line. And you know what? Let's monkey around with this. I just want to see where this price gap falls. All right, that's a little bit. It's been exceeded a little bit. I'm just going to anchor it to Monday's high just as kind of a guide for us um, since that's been the peak for the year. AMD, which is Advanced Micro Devices, down over 2%. Uh, you can see from past experience, we're at very uh, precarious levels here. AMP, Ameriprise, beneath this long-term broken trend line. We've had many instances of reversals in the past. And here's the most recent with the horizontal. Let's see if that's appropriately placed. Um, I'll leave it there for now, 137.31. Uh, 
AutoNation AN. Big old top here and beginning to sneak away from that price gap at 38.26. Apache APA down over a percentage point. The top is this uh, all this price activity ab above this blue line and that level is at 34.21. ASGN which is cleverly enough ASGN Incorporated and uh, let's see here zooming in we got a price at 68.20 beneath that broken long-term trend line American Express AXP we've got this long-term pattern here which was broken briefly and I've got a horizontal here at 109.16 we want to see ourselves work our way back down beneath that blue long-term trend line. BB&T Corporation. Here's our analog, the red and the green lines. Zooming in, we've been working down a series of um, generally lower highs. This one is a bit of a violation. We, we beat this prior uh, high. And we've gone up about 25% in a matter of a couple of months. And it's a bank, people. so. Uh, BDC, Belden, a very pretty chart here, very violent moves. We're well beneath this broken trend line here, and a horizontal is at 64.33. Brandywine, BDN, we are beneath this intermediate term trend line, and uh, moving away from that horizontal at 16.18. Beacon Roofing, this one's starting to do well. Major top here, and our line's at 38.55, but I'm tightening this up for a stop at 38.15. Really like that chart. Uh, Banco Francis here, BFR. And we're cleanly below this broken trend line. And the price gap right there, 12.61. Boston Private Financial Holdings. You can see a lot of financials in this, in this portfolio. There's the broken trend line. There's our reversal. And the lower horizontal, which is what I'm focused on here, is 12.28. CBRE Group, we have zipped right up to the underside of that now broken trend line. This is our fourth reversal pattern. And I got a, a stop here. It's an easy one, 51.40, a little bit above uh, Monday's high. Crown Holdings, CCK. Here's the analog here as compared to recent activity. And horizontal is at 55.38. Carnival Corporation CCL beneath this broken trend line. Lower lows, lower highs, and a nice clean stop just above this bar. That'd be about 59.25. Chico's CHS. Here's our topping pattern, the reversal, everything above that blue line. And in this case, I'm setting the stop at 6.02. Colgate. CL, a uh, real big uh, topping pattern here. Not quite complete, to be completely honest, but I've got a tight stop on that based on that at uh, 67.50. Core Laboratory, CLB, here's the uh, topping pattern, 73.37 being the line, although my stop's gonna be quite a bit tighter at, uh, at 66.95. Continental Resources, CLR, and somebody's saying hello to me. Um, CLR, and here's our topping pattern here. And the stop in this instance would be 45.91. CNO, which is CNO Financial Group. And there's this big old top here, and we've got a price gap. And so my stop itself is gonna be at um, 17.53. Capital One Financial, COF. In this instance, this uh, this blue line is down here at 84.81, although my stop is going to be at 83. We're almost done. Cirrus Logic, CRUS. Stop in this case, just above this line, 40.90. And last one, Deluxe Corporation. Here's our topping pattern, and the red line at 52.71. And that is it. Now on to the next uh, for all you premium folks. I'll see you there.